This is a quick video to show you how to install your MBB moped racks from Moved by Bikes. MBB moped racks feature our patent pending quick release bars for instant removal when not in use. The racks have been designed to mount to your moped's existing cargo racks, but the hardware is super adaptable allowing them to be installed in a variety of ways to a wide range of mopeds and bikes. If you just want to carry your board with your bicycle, be sure to check out our longboard and shortboard racks. A standard installation includes a pair of mounted rack bars. If the bars are mounted together, we recommend them for use with shortboards up to about 7 feet in length. If your moped allows you to mount the bars apart, such as shown here, they are generally suitable for longboards. Moved by Bikes has evaluated the racks in typical mounting configurations and with typical boards for speeds up to about 30 miles per hour. For best results, look for mounting locations with a pair of rack tubes that are nearly parallel and not more than 10 inches apart. Check the weight ratings of your moped's cargo racks to ensure that they can handle the extra loads imposed by the surfboard racks. As a general rule, we always recommend putting common stainless steel anti-seize compound on all of the stainless steel bolts. This will prevent hardware galling, which is common with stainless steel, and ensure that you can remove the rack later if desired. When you open the box, you'll find the rack mounts in a dedicated bag here. Open that up and remove the two pre-assembled mount sets. Each mount set consists of a 10 inch long mounted tube and two clamp sets. To install, partially disassemble the clamp sets until you can slide them over the moped rack bars. Reassemble and lightly tighten the first clamp set, then repeat for the second. With both clamp sets in place, you can slide the mounted tube into the clamps. Repeat the process for the second mounted tube, and then take some time to dial in the rotational alignment of the mounted tubes before proceeding to tighten them all the way. Make sure you tighten both clamp bolts together so that the two halves of the clamp block stay parallel to each other as they are secured. If you find that the clamp blocks are too small to fit around the bars of your moped rack, there are two sets of larger blocks in the accessory pack located here in the box. The smallest clamps cover a tube range of about a quarter inch to half an inch. The medium size cover a range of about half inch to three quarters of an inch. And the larger size cover a range of about five eighths of an inch to one inch. Use the smallest size blocks that fit your moped rack bars. Be sure to use the longer bolts included with the larger clamp sizes. Installation is the same with the larger clamp blocks. Simply proceed as before, installing the two clamp block sets and then sliding the mounted tube into the tube clamps. Once everything is in place, tighten the bolts together to lock everything into place. If your moped has a narrow rack, you may want to trim the mounted tubes down for a custom fit. Just make sure you cut from the opposite end of the surf rack bars. Trimming the bars also allows the racks to be mounted on a wide range of bicycle frames, including beach cruisers, electric bikes, and cargo bikes that have parallel frame members. With the mounts on and in place, you can assemble the rack bars themselves. Simply slide the lower U-shaped bar into the upper L-shaped bar. There are several height adjustments available. The higher height adjustments will require some trimming of the foam on the tubes. To install the bars in the frame mounts, simply align the spline features and slide the bars until they click into place. In some cases, you may want to reverse the direction of the push button so that it is accessed from below rather than above the bar. This is easy to do. Remove the plastic cap at the end of the bar, fish the button out with pliers or bent wire, and reinstall it facing the opposite direction. The rack hardware also allows you to mount to any flat surface, such as a solid rear cargo deck. This may require you to drill some holes in your mounting surface and sink out some additional nuts and bolts, but it is a great option if this is all you have to work with. With mounts installed and bars in place, you're ready to go. Grab your board and drop it into the J-shaped bars. With mopeds and scooters, you should always secure your board with a bungee cord or strap to ensure that it stays put during your journey. These are available from just about any hardware store or bike shop. Check to make sure that your board is high enough that it won't hit the ground when cornering and it won't be damaged by heat from any exhaust pipes. Take it easy on your first rides and be sure to check your hardware periodically to make sure nothing has loosened up over time. If you run into any trouble, give us a call or email so we can help get you set up. We love getting feedback from our customers, so give us a call or send us a note. Thanks.